What's up guys, I'm the East Coast of Fan, and today I am at McDonald's. And this fast food place is pretty, wait, what's that in the background? Now I'm just kidding, I'm gonna be heading to Six Flags Great Adventure today. Now this is actually a new view for me because during the past year, or maybe two years, I don't know, they've been clearing these trees. So King of Kai used to be blocked until you got into the park. But now, you can see it pretty clearly. Right now I'm just chilling because I'm waiting for my reservation, which is in about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna chill here and then I'm gonna enter the park. One of the new things this season is they changed the topiary. It used to be Bugs Money and now it's the Six Flags. Not sure how I feel about that. Alright, so I'm finally in now. The line was a little long, but that was because I think only one of the lines was open. So I'm gonna head straight to El Toro for my first ride of the year. Alright, so I've made it to El Toro. It looks like no one's here, so I think I'm gonna get a lot of rides. Let's do this. All right, so I've done a couple of things. I've ridden El Toro two times. I'm gonna do third right now, and we've done a ride on King Ka. The line was a little long, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that again, but it was a good ride. Anyway, I'll see you guys probably around when I get... Not sure if you heard me, but I'll probably see you when I get lunch. Alright, so I actually rode El Toro two times, and it is definitely warmed up from this morning. It is a much better ride. The line is a little bit longer now, so I'm gonna try Bizarro and then get some lunch. Let's go see this weird part of uh, Runaway Mine Train now. See you there. So just finished my ride on Bizarro and it was fine. Um, the operations could have been a lot better. They were a little slow and I don't think um, it was because of social distancing and masks. It's just uh, slow operations in general. So, it's definitely time to eat. It's getting a little late. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna take the Skyway to Granny's. So, I'll see you on the Skyway. So, this is actually the building for Safari Off-Road Adventures. Because of COVID this year, they brought back the drive through Safari. So this attraction is not going to be open this year. But if you really want to see the animals, you can go in the wild walkway or you can pay to go in the drive-thru safari. Alright, so I made it on the Skyway. Just a pro tip in general, if you ever want to ride the Skyride, uh, it's much better to do it coming from Runaway Mine Train to the other end of the park there is almost never a line, or at least it's much less than on the other side. But, take it in the views and I'll see you on the ground. 
Okay, so I winded at Granny's and got myself a chicken basket. We'll see how it is and then I'll do something afterwards. I don't know what yet, but I'll figure it out. Let's eat. So unfortunately, I think that Justice League and Cyborg are not going to be open this season. Now, Cyborg, I'm okay with, but I'm kind of sad about Justice League because that's a good ride, especially during the summer, to get away from the heat. You can see Wonder Woman going, but it doesn't look like there's that many riders on it at all. So I can only imagine what the line is for it. So I'm probably not going to do that today, but I'm going to head towards the Nitro area to check on Jersey Devil. It seems that my suspicions were right. Wonder Woman has a really long line. So, definitely gotta do something else now. Talk about an area that is much different than the last time I was here. Unfortunately, as the sign says, Jersey Devil is opening in 2021. But, it looks really nice. I can't wait to ride. Here, I'm gonna see if I can get a different angle on this mini bridge. Oh, you do. Wow. Yeah, it looks really good. I can't wait to ride this. It'll fit really nice in this area. Hopefully though, um, Six Flags will fix the remainder of Safari Kids because to be honest, it does not look good. It really needs a touch up. But I'm going to check the Nitro line and see if I'm going to go on it. So I'll see you then. Alright, so I just got off Nitro. It was about a 40 minute wait. And after going on it, I can definitively say that Candymonium is a better hyper. Now, I think it depends on the day, really, with uh, Nitro. Sometimes it can be really good. And sometimes it can be kind of bad. So anyway, I'm heading towards the uh, parachutes and Zumanjaro because I really like those two rides. And I don't think they're going to have as long of a wait as the coasters. I've ridden mainly the ones that I wanted to. And I'm on a little bit of a time limit. So... As I head to those two rides, I'll point anything out that's pretty interesting. Other than that, I'll see you guys when I get to those two rides. So I'm by the fountain. Sorry if I'm talking loud, I'm just trying to talk over the music. But here's the newly renovated Johnny Rockets. Now, even though people are inside, there's this new gate right here. So that the line is going to go horizontally instead of outside basically to the fountain. So that's a good change. Also, something we'll look at to, uh, before I leave is Six Flags Universe. This is the new uh, gift shop that they renovated. Okay, so I decided not to do uh, the parachute tower. Normally I would, but they're only operating two. And when they're only operating two and the line stretches that long, yeah, it's gonna be a long wait. So I'm just going to do Zoom and Jaro. The good news is I did see there were people on it. So that is a good sign. So I'll see when I get to the entrance. So I'm walking in the queue now for Zoom and Jaro, Drop of Doom. And we're right by El Toro, which is actually going up the left and about to drop now. But other than the drop, which is amazing, there's this hill right here, which is called the Rolling Thunder Hill. Now some of you may not know why it's called that. So I'm gonna tell you right after this drops.
Alright, so the Rolling Thunder Hill has some of the best airtime on this entire ride. And it gets its name from this right here. This is actually a remnant from Rolling Thunder. It was an old dueling wooden coaster that existed at the park. It did get removed in 2013 to make way for this queue line. But the park left a little piece of it. Now, it... See all that airtime? Now you can definitely tell um, nature has definitely claimed this ride segment. But it's still nice to have it here. All right, I'm gonna check Zoom and Jaro, and I'll tell you what my thoughts once I get off. I just got off Zoom and Jaro. It was about, I'd say, 20 to 30 minute wait there. And I just forgot how awesome that ride is. It is so much fun. But this is probably my last ride of the day just because we're getting close to the time that I have to leave. But before I go, I do want to check out Six Flags Universe, the new store. And maybe I'll get a few things. So I'll see you when I get there. Said it's very open. They have like a lot of Looney Tunes merch and I believe they have Costa merch over there. So let's go over and check that out. So I tried looking in the store for Costa merch and I didn't seem to find any. Um, it's mainly just Looney Tunes, but that makes sense because it took over the Looney Tunes shop. So I'm gonna look in here Maybe pick out something, and I'll finish out the video when I'm done. Alright guys, I may have made a purchase inside of the Main Street gift shop. This will look really good. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Um, it was a good day overall, I'd say. It did get pretty crowded towards the middle, but I can't blame it anyone because it was such a nice day but i hope you enjoyed my day here at six flags great adventure if you like this video please make sure to give it a like if you really liked it make sure to subscribe until next time i'll see you guys later